these guys, the TP and the K, are a lot more aspirated. They're a lot tougher. So when I say aspirated, I mean more air comes out of your mouth when you say them in Chinese than in English. That's pretty much it. So heavily aspirated in Chinese, less aspirated in English. So if you say ta, and then the word in English, tap, ta, tap, ta, there, there should be more breath when you're saying the ta sap. And the same for pa and pat. And the same exact thing for k and kill. K. There's a lot more breath coming out. So essentially, in Chinese, it's a lot easier to spit on people's faces when you're talking. So be careful. Now, the last one here, not necessarily voiced or more aspirated, but it is slightly different from the H in English. So it's more like the, the CH in the Scottish accent. So, for example, loch, it's got a bit of a to it. So if we want to say drink in Chinese, we would say right? You don't have to do it as much as I do or at all. There are some Chinese people that don't do it. Especially the ladies, they like to keep it more ladylike. So it's like, huh, huh. but it is a slight little scratchy sound, right? So if you want to sound more authentic, just give it a bit of a huh, 